In this video we're going to talk about how to do your pattern registration on your IM. Pattern registration is a very important component for your IM because it allows you the IM to locate a part and then also find its orientation on your stage. What the machine does is you actually teach it something that's a unique feature about that component. It then starts in the top left hand corner and looks to match that shape to your part and then also do a rotational location. It then moves and measures this hundreds of thousands of times across your screen until it finds the right location and the right orientation for that feature. Once it's found it, it then drops the rest of your program in and begins to do its inspection. So when you hit your pattern registration button, the machine's going to, by default, try its best to find something that it thinks is unique about your component. For right now, we're going to hit no. And if you want to go along with us, we're working off of the training card. If you don't have one of these, please just contact your local sales rep. They'll be more than happy to get you one. You can adjust your pattern search by just clicking and dragging any of the edges. And what you want to do is you want to find something that's somewhat unique about your component. So you don't want to attach it to something that's too simple or similar to other locations. If you ever wonder, you can hit your register button and it'll let you know if it's been detected properly or not. Get a couple error messages and it'll actually show you where else on the part it sees the exact same feature. It'll highlight it in yellow. So that circle obviously doesn't work. If we expanded this though and grab something else, something like this may not occur in another location on the part. However, when we register, we still get a failure. The reason is that your registration needs to find something that's a rather large feature. So you don't want it to be an itty bitty little mark or a clocking mark or something like that uh, for a plastic part, maybe a ejection hole. You need it to be something that actually has some substance to it. So perhaps you select the entire edge over here. Again, if you think you got it right, hit register and it'll attach and let you know if it was detected properly or not and give you a green box. Some of the other features that you have is you have a search range. This informs the machine that it will see the same pattern a number of degrees from normal. Good example being a gear. If you had a gear with six teeth on it, you could set it to 60 degrees. If you'd used one of those teeth as your pattern search, tell it that in another 60 degrees, it'll see the same tooth and that's acceptable. If you have a part that's perfectly round, ball bearing or something like that, a washer, o-ring, you can select non-rotation search. This will let the IM do a location search, but it won't let it do a rotation search. So it won't find the fact that every single degree will be the same. Your other options, your detect settings. Under your detect settings, you can actually set the system to default to do multiple parts. So if you wanted to grab 10 parts of something, you could just tell it that it needs to be 10. This only defects the default. So if you go in at any point, you can say that you only want nine or eight while actually measuring, but this will change what your default is. Lastly, you have speed priority and accuracy priority. Accuracy priority is preferred. However, in order to do accuracy priority, you have to have a coordinate setting. If you don't have a coordinate setting on your part, select speed priority and you'll be good most of the time. Again, once you're happy, hit register. It'll let you know if it works and then select yes. It'll give you an image of what that part is and you're all set ready to go. Always recommend testing out a program after you've changed your registered pattern. Sometimes you'll be surprised uh, what you'll end up seeing. If you're getting errors for the location of a measurement not showing up correctly, or you're getting a lot of repeatability issues, this is the first place to go to and check out. So hopefully this will help you guys a little bit, but please, if you run into any issues, don't hesitate to ask.